got it. I'll call this meeting to order. We can all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Let's have a roll call of the members present, please. Councilmember Whitten. I'm here. Councilmember Graham. Here. Councilmember Jessen. Here. Councilmember Larson. By myself. <laughs> Councilmember Tapparat. Here. Councilmember Rebus. And Councilmember Sims. Uh, five present. Thank you very much. Councilman Rebus is uh, unfortunately at a funeral this evening. His father in law passed away, so he asked that I let everybody know why he wasn't here. And Councilman Sims is coming back from Washington, D.C. with a Bus load of high school kids. Train load. Yeah, a train load of high school kids. So he was also unable to make it. Um, next on the agenda is approval of council minutes for April 23rd, 2019. What is your pleasure? Second. Second. We have a motion in a couple of seconds. Any changes or comments? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Minutes are approved. Madam Auditor, first reading. Notice is hereby given the taxpayers of Porter County, Indiana, that the proper legal officers of Porter County will meet in the Porter County Government Administration Building, located at 155 Indiana Avenue, Valparaiso, on May 28, 2019, at 5.30 p.m. to consider the following additional appropriations affecting county budgets for the year 2019 and to transact any further business which might come before the Council. Uh, general Fund, General Courts. 3130 Training and Education, $1,000. Cumulative Bridge Fund, 1135. 4420 Motor Vehicles, $9,000. Motor Vehicle Highway Fund, Fund 1176. 2310 Tires and Batteries, $20,000. Stormwater Fund, 1182. 4420 Motor Vehicles, $9,000. Surveyors Perpetuation Fund, 1202. 1110 Salaries, 8000 12 uh, 1210 FICA, $612. 1230 PERF, $896. Drug Task Force Fund, 4010. 4540 Other Equipment, $5,000. Inmate Processing Fee Fund, 4911. 4510 Data Processing, $2,000. Virtual Pathways Agreement Fund, 4924. 4540 Other Equipment, $10,000. And Florida County Sheriff Highway Interdiction Fund, 4925, 4540 other equipment, $15,000. Taxpayers appearing at such meetings shall have a right to be heard thereon. The additional appropriations as finally made will be referred to the Indiana Department of Local Government Finance, which will make a written determination as to the sufficiency of funds to support the appropriations made within 15 days of receipt of a certified copy of the action taken. Signed, Vicki Urbanic, Auditor of Porter County, and published May 17, 2019, in the Chesterton Tribune. Thank you, Madam Honor. <coughs> First thing on the agenda, next thing on the agenda, Circuit Court, Judge Harper, General Fund, transfer $4,000 from 397080 care of patients and inmates to 11200 hourly, needed to cover a part time law clerk. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. I was reading her. Yeah. Any comments or questions? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> the ayes have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you all. Good evening. Same here. Always. General Courts, uh, Judge Bradford, General Fund, County Court, additional $1,000, excuse me, to training and ed, money needed for additional mandatory conduct. Motion. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councilmember Graham? Yes. Councilmember Jefferson? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. And Councilmember Witten? Yes. Thank you all. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Next is our assessor, reassessment fund, a transfer of $1,500 from furniture fixtures to office equipment. Motion. We need transfer to buy cameras for reassessment. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The yeah, ayes have it. All right, thank you. Good. Nice. See. Development and stormwater. Stormwater fund, additional $9,000 to motor vehicles to purchase fleet vehicle for departments. How's it going, everybody? Hello. Good evening. I'll make a motion. We have a motion on the floor to approve. No, no. 
Get to the discussion. Oh, the good discussion? Okay. Get to the discussion. Okay. We have a motion to approve or deny. Oh, I'm sorry. What's your motion? <laughs> I'm sure that's a well, what do you want us to do? What's, what's your motion? I want to talk about it first. So you can make a motion to approve or deny. Okay, I'll make a motion to deny it to talk about it. We have a motion to deny on the floor. Is there a... We got to get to the discussion. Is there a second? Well, I understand what you're trying to do here, but you got to choose. I'll, I'll second it. All right, so you got a motion to deny with a second on the floor. Um, discussion. Bob. 9,000. You're going to take half out of bridge and then half out of this? Remember now, we've got uh, people from the Highway Engineering Fund, we have Planning Commission members, and we have Stormwater. We are looking at getting five vehicles on this. We recently have been sitting down talking with um, Enterprise Fleet Management System, and the commissioners wanted to try our department on this. Basically, we split it three ways going across the board with engineering, stormwater, and plan commission for these vehicles. We are replacing three vehicles, but we're getting a total of five. Are you, this, are you leasing them? We're, it's a lease agreement and, and maintenance agreement too. And what this is, I mean, essentially we're going to get title for these. So it's a lease purchase. It's a lease purchase, yes. Um, so and we're doing this basically. instead of... the a prepaid lease. Right. Instead of waiting until these vehicles just are rattling down the road, and falling apart. What we do in this situation is, is there's a sweet spot that they're going to have on this. When these vehicles hit 50,000, they're going to take them from us. We're going to get new vehicles on it, and then they're going to sell the vehicle at 50,000. Then that money that they sell it for rolls back into us, and we get ed equity. The three vehicles that we do have that we're going to have replaced this year, they're two Ford trucks and also a Taurus. They're predicting conservatively that we're going to get $19,000 for this. This $19,000 is equity that will roll back into it. So out of the $25,000, we're only going to have maybe $6,000 payment this year. But I went ahead and put in for the full amount going across because we have these fleet vehicles on that so that way somebody from Highway Engineering, Plant Commission, or Stormwater can just run out, grab a key, boom, we've got the vehicle for it. How many uh Vehicles do you have in this fleet now, or, or how many vehicles? Currently, we have seven, but we're probably going to have to. Go, we are going to go up to nine. I we're getting new employees. We're going to need this. You have seven currently. Seven currently. And we're talking about getting five additional on top of the seven. No, yeah. three of them are going to be replaced, and they're going to be two new. So total of nine. Right. And what year was? Uh, I thought we just. Or was that a couple years ago, three years ago? Or? We purchased one for Stormwater, and if we, um, we're trying it for the five vehicles here. That Stormwater is um, one that it might drives in, but if anybody needs a vehicle. So these are all parked yeah, here? I'm, to give you an idea, I walked out today, and I needed a vehicle to get up to Nerpsey. I had to drive my own personal vehicle instead of grabbing one of the fleet vehicles. Why? Because we had all of the fleet vehicles on the field looking at stuff, whether it was drainage, whether it was highway, or it was a planning commission, or code enforcement building, it was out there. We need vehicles. Either that or we start charging for mileage and use our personal vehicles. So that's the reason why we're doing this. We are doing this as an experiment with enterprise fleet management. Is it, and we went through it and says it, purchase. It does. It does. It it, it's purchase. least purchase, like you said. It, we've been working through with the commissioners on this. On the, and they just recently signed the contracts for these. It's my impression, though, with that process, we won't actually own the vehicle. Is that right? Everything that Scott tells me, well, I asked about that, it, that we will have these vehicles. Exactly. They are ours. Yeah. So the contracts have all been signed to do this? Correct. Oh, wow. Did you know anybody here on the council know anything about that? Uh, I did because I was at the commissioner's meeting. Oh, okay. Were you asked about it there? I uh, was not asked about it specifically. No. I'm just curious. So no one specifically talked to you about it or anything like that? You just happened to be the meeting? Why don't we buy it? meeting. Yeah, okay. Why? Yeah. Are you going to allow us to trade these things in? But number one, they're going to trade it in. One, when we finally get rid of these vehicles, they're over 100,000 miles on it. They're crap. 
let's face it, they are absolute crap. And what do they do? They go down to the sheriffs and they say, oh, do we see any of that money? No. And then we end up dumping 25000 I need two vehicles right now. So right now, it's a, you know, I would be looking at $50,000 to be able to get this year two new vehicles. i got to have them. Papers are already signed. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, and, I, and Bob, calm down. You, calm down. All right, all right, hold on. Why are we buying these vehicles? Nobody's answered that question. This is something. Really, I own 80 trucks. So let's not get into this discussion about leasing versus purchasing. All right. This is you something. A couple of them? The, the commissioners, yeah, this is something that the commissioners requested that we look into. They were looking at this as a possibility of the maintenance is covered by enterprise. Okay. The everything is covered by enterprise. Fifty thousand miles. Wear and tear. Brakes and tires will be covered. Right. You're right. That is not covered. Oil changes won't right. be covered. And everything no, like that. And after fifty thousand miles, they'll take those vehicles, they'll sell them, and all that money that they sell it for. Rolls back into us as equity, but then you got to turn around and release vehicles. They're not going to give you a check for nineteen thousand dollars. What ends up happening is, is like and I mentioned in this situation, our annual fee, and, and also it helps with budgeting. Yeah. I know the exact yeah. amount that I'm going to have to budget every year. Mm -hmm. Right now, within the budget, there is absolutely no line item for vehicles. So, I mean, if you want me to go out and purchase them, we'll go out and purchase them. But I'm rolling in fifty thousand dollars into these accounts because I gotta have vehicles this year. So um that that's one of the reasons why we're looking into it and everything. So I mean this equity rolls in this nineteen thousand that they're putting you keep you you circle back to that. All right. The nineteen thousand dollars from Enterprise, you will not get a check. No. That will go towards the next vehicles we lease. No, it will go to these vehicles that we're purchasing now. Well, we're not purchasing them, we're leasing them. Well, that's a, yeah, that's a difference, a subtle difference. I'm hearing three different terms here. I'm hearing lease, I'm hearing prepaid lease, and then I'm hearing lease purchase. Those are very different contractual arrangements. So, some of these. Uh, my my impression, uh, maybe answer. My impression is that we will not have title to that car. Is that true? I was told by Scott McClure, our attorney, that for all intents and purposes, we own the vehicles. He's the one that sat down and worked out this with me, with Enterprise, in looking at this. Will we see a check from Enterprise for 19000 No. No. Basically, our no, $25,000 that we would have to pay for one year, they will roll it back in, and then we only have to pay, what, the remainder, eight or whatever. They're going to sell the trucks and apply that money towards the lease. They're going to sell the, the, the you're, you're trading in basically three. Three. And they're going to sell them and apply that money to the lease on the five. Right. Well, okay. So we have a motion to deny on the floor with a second. Any other questions? We're about to take. Yeah, yeah if, if I could. So the amount that you're asking for tonight um, to go toward this, this lease, it's the nine plus the nine. Right. Uh, so the 18? You're for 18. No. No. There's plant commission, there's highway engineering under the okay. bridge fund. So 27. And then there's stormwater. So we're looking at uh, 27,000 because I think the actual fee for the one year is 25,000 and change. Is that the only thing you got on the agenda, though, is the plant commission? And, no, there's three on there. There's three. There. There's three. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Let me give you a virtual tour down the agenda. Then I missed it. We've got the additional from Kim Bridge, and we've got the transfer. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Okay. So, unlimited mileage? Yes. How much is a mileage fee? Do they charge uh, a mileage fee? No. Everything I saw on the contract, no. Just so much a month? It's so much a month, and when the vehicle hits 50,000 miles, they take it, get us a new one, and whatever they sell it for, that rolls into the equity. What is the term of the lease? As far as? How many years? It's based off of the mileage. As 
I mentioned. Yeah. If we drive a vehicle in one year that's 50,000 miles, it could I be one I year. See these leases. I'm sorry, i got to see them. In the yeah, do you have a time. copy by chance? Well, I have it upstairs. I can send it to everybody. Can we table this? No, I, uh, I'll withdraw my motion. Just I'll because. withdraw my second. All right, so the motion to deny and the second has been withdrawn. Now I need a mo another motion. Is you already there, signed it. Yeah. <laughs> is there... This is what I would I would like. I, I need a motion to... You know what I'm making? Yeah, I, I move that we, uh, on the specific if, additionals for the... If you want to see the agreements, fine. Table it. I have them upstairs. We have not submitted them to Enterprise because, one, I was waiting for this vote. Well... So... If you want to see the agreements, I got no problems with that. I'm just saying I need two vehicles now. I move to the table with them. All right. There's a motion to table on the floor and a second. Is there a time constraint, Bob, against this? None. If they order the vehicles, it's looking like September to October before we get these things, if they're new. If they order them directly from the factory. If they're just pickup trucks? No. I've got two pickup trucks. I got a sedan, mid-size sedan, and uh, two small SUVs. And they're all going to just be parked here in the garage. They're going to be parked in the garage. None of them are take-home vehicles. They're fleet. Well, there's a few questions that probably need to be ironed out here. Um, certainly, before I'm willing to vote for this, but it seems some from others like there's at least some degree of confusion as to the terms and nature of the contracts. So uh, at this point, there's a motion to table with a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor of uh, the motion to table the additional 9000 from stormwater funds signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? This table. Okay. Now let's go to the Planning Commission Keene Bridge Fund. Uh, there's also an additional 9000 I assume the same thing, folks? Motion to table. Do you want to encompass into that the, also the transfer of 9000 yeah, from the Planning Commission? That would fund. make sense, yes. So a motion to table the two remaining $9,000 requests, the additional from Cune Bridge Fund and the transfer from Planning Commission Fund. Is there a second? Yeah, I second it. There's a second to the motion. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Those two requests are also tabled. <coughs> Yeah, Bob, in the meantime, in the meantime, if you would be so kind as to I'll send you get us copies of all those things. I'll be more than happy to. Sure. Do you guys um, pay, do you have a mileage fund that if you did have to use a personal vehicle, we pay mileage? Um, yes, we do. Okay. Not we in the highway, for not for the highway engineers, for planning commission, and I believe, I don't, I'd have to check on stormwater. I do know we have it on planning commission, but I don't know about the other engineering sites. Small one, yeah. Mike just told me we do have a small amount on Stormwater. Well, we obviously have to reimburse somebody if they use their personal vehicle. Correct. Okay. They, they won't. This won't happen if we. This is May, and they won't deliver till September, October. If they order the vehicles directly from the factory. Yes. I, I think they have. You know, obviously they have a better understanding of what the lease is. Makes sense. It'd be helpful if Scott was here, for instance. Right. Um, or one of the commissioners, perhaps. Um, uh, the idea of a prepaid lease, that's not, uh, we didn't create that. That's a process that's out there and it can work very successfully and it ultimately can be a cost savings. Um, right. But I think it's important to take a look at uh, what that is before before we take action on it. But it, to me, it begs, it begs the question a little bit because we're talking about vehicles overall. So, kind of a sidetrack note, and uh, I think it'd be helpful for all the council members to, as we look at vehicles throughout the county, is there, here's my question or request, is there a master list of yes. those vehicles, who's driving them, what's yes. the criteria for that, and can we have that uh, presented to us? There is such a list because as you may yeah. recall some time ago, some years ago when they pulled the list up is when they discovered that there were vehicles on there being insured that we no longer own. Yes, yeah. uh, so the rack or rack. Yeah, the rack are gone. So, uh, so I would like to confirm that we're not falling into that same trap and uh -huh. to make sure that we know how many vehicles we have throughout the county. Right? I'm, uh -huh. I'm, not, I'm not against them getting vehicles. Right. Even, the, you know, if you needed a couple more. I don't know if leasing is in our best interest. 
we're not. This isn't a business. Is it? Is, is, I don't understand where the where the push was to lease versus just buying. Well, let's take a look at what they look at. Well, I mean, forget the details. The principle, the the big concept, thirty thousand foot. I mean, we don't lease squad cars. Why do we not? You know what? Why don't we just buy the trucks or whatever you need? So, yeah, those are all wonderful questions that will but stay tuned. They already signed it. Was it pending our vote? I don't know. It's, it's not submitted. That's the bottom line. It's right. not submitted. Okay. Well, well, I'm sure. I'm sure it was pending approval. Um, they've been pretty good about that. So let's go to the next thing on the uh, on the agenda, which is the transfer of six thousand dollars from Colverts to Furniture Fiction <coughs> to purchase new desks and chairs for new employees. <coughs> Much pleasure. Motion. Second. So motion and second for this transfer. Any discussion on this? Hearing none, all in favor aye. signify by saying aye. 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 Did you have a question, Sylvia? Well, I was just, just for clarification, how, how many more employees are you talking about? Two or three? Currently, two. Two. Full time? Currently. Currently, two. two. Full time? One's part time. Um, one would be full time, yes. How many desks and chairs does six thousand dollars get us? A lot. We're sure. having to come back in in next month and ask for a little bit more on this. Really? Because um, we're already putting in. We have no. Yeah, to hire the part-time secretary. There's no place. There's no station for her. If we hire the project manager, there's no station for him. So we're looking at actually setting up pods like we have in the thing um, in the section for the highway engineering where we put four of them together. Um, we have some space that's probably underutilized where the building commissioner and code enforcement officer set. So we're going to set up a couple pods. We also have interns in there. We have two interns now and possibly a third intern. Again, no spot to put them. So how many? So tonight's transfer request. How many desks? Are you anticipating buying with that? I think the total bill for what we're looking at could be close to ten thousand. This probably will get us three workstations. The ten thousand. Right. Well, the ten thousand. If we go to the total ten thousand, I'm going to be back for four thousand next. It's probably looking at three new desks and the electrical outlets with um, also the cubicles and everything for them. Any other questions, guys? Let's take this vote again. All in favor of the transfer signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Transfer is approved. Uh, transfer $7,800 from consultants to salaries for salary of new project manager along with that is a form 144-0. The $7,800 project manager one salary for new project manager. What is your pleasure with this request? A motion. Second. A motion and a second to approve. Yes. Uh, what questions uh, do we have with this? Do you, are you? What is the rest of the salary for this project? It's in the highway administration fund right now. What, what is their salary going to be? It'll be sixty-five thousand. So when we did the budget, this is a new position. It's been in the position. Let me, let me, it's been in the budget. Let me, let me finish my question. All right. I'm sorry. And then we'll move on. So. When we did the budget, you anticipated a salary that was $7,800 less when we created the position. Is that what it is? And then you come, you decided that it needs to be $7,800 higher than was budgeted? We've had this position vacant now for one year. Okay. All right. Um, we do have a candidate to be able to get this candidate. This is an offer we're trying to make to get this candidate in. We have been struggling to try to find a candidate that is qualified for this position for the past year. The person that last held this position was Rich Sexton. And as you know, he's left and gone over and become the highway superintendent. So we've had this position vacant. So is that, that's, that's a yes? To my question, we yes. had it budgeted with less. We were coming in and asking for seven. What was it budgeted for? It was at fifty-seven thousand and some change, 57 basically. Two? Yeah, fifty-seven. That's, two. that's correct. Right. I just 
just wanted to get a little history here to make sure. Sure. And so we're going to 65. 65. And will this come out of highway or is this coming out of? The well, 572 is coming out of the highway administrative, and then this is coming out of the cumulative bridge. bridge. So this will be the highway engineer. It will be in the highway engineering section, yes. Yeah, the pro project manager, Sylvia. Thank you. The highway. Who, who has been uh, fulfilling those duties uh, with, since we don't have a person doing it? It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Myself, Matt Bellick, our, our the, highway engineer. What's in the Cumbridge Bridge? The, I know you gave us that thing. but Right I now we're having to hire consultants to cover yeah. this work if we're doing it. And to give you an ideal, <laughs> if we're going to have to spend, we're looking at saving a hundred thousand dollars this year on consultants. So by filling this position, we'll by filling this position pay, we'll be able to right. save that money and then some from that was the, right. That was the entire discussion, right, right. Bob? Was right. That, was That's right. The, the, the fees we were paying far exceeded what we were going to spend. Exactly. So we've got about one point eight million in the Cambridge Fund, correct? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so, all right, any other questions on this? So this is not a mid-year raise, you're trying to recruit, right? We're trying to recruit, hire. exactly. Yep. We do not have anybody in this position. Okay, that answers my questions. Anybody else have any? Uh, can I get a roll call as to the transfer in the 144, please? Okay, Councilmember Jessen? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparaz? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. And Councilmember Graham? Yes. Five zero. Thank you. Uh, highway. Thanks, guys. We have a couple things here. A $20,000 additional motor vehicle highway fund, $20,000 additional to tires and batteries. Money needs to replace payloader tires uh, and 500 bucks to pay for plaques for employees that have worked for the county for 20 years or longer. Motion. Move, second. We have a motion and a second, I assume, for the additional and the transfer. Correct? Yes. Um, any discussion on this? This is a side quick question, uh, just for my information. Rich, so for the, the plaques and acknowledgement of the employee, that's a wonderful thing to do, and yep. uh, I, you know, it's a, a real got, positive, positive thing. We got two employees, 30, one 31 years, one 33 years, and one this will be his 40th year wow. in August. So. Yeah, so I, thought, so I, I compliment you on starting you. that. Uh, if we haven't had something like that, it's long overdue. The question is, throughout the other departments in the county, do we have similar programs, and are there procedures or policies set up for how we arrange that? Does anybody know? Or? I think it varies by department to department, actually. I just I mean, I actually got my idea. Most people don't last that long. We have long term in place. Oh, yeah, no question. I, I'm just saying if it's something good for the highway department, maybe it's something good for another department. And the sheriff's department I was up here when I first took over, and they were recognizing some long term employees. So and I was like, why wouldn't we do that? I got 40 year guy and I got 30 year guys. I got, I, had, I think we ended up giving out uh, 18 or 19 plaques of the staff. Oh, that's a great idea. 38 drivers, so yeah. half of them have over 20 years experience. And that's awesome. You got a, yeah, we got a motion. We have a motion second. So, uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. Councilmember Graham? Yes. And Councilmember Jessup. Yes. Five to zero. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good reports that you're giving us. Thank I'll you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> the sheriff's in town. Sheriff. All right. So we've got a couple of things here to uh, deal with, or several things. Uh, Porter County. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, General Fund Sheriff. 0005, Porter County Sheriff, 18 compensation agreement, Porter County Sheriff, 19 compensation agreement. He didn't get paid last year? No. No. <laughs> oh, sure. Thanks. How oh, did we miss that? I wasn't here. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. I'm back in time, Bob. I'll make the motion. Second. Both of them. Both. Motion and second on both of them. Right. Yeah. No discussion? 
Mm -hmm. Roll call on these, please. Uh, Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. Councilmember Graham? Yes. Councilmember Jessen? Yes. And Councilmember Larson? Yes. Five to zero. Um, agreements are congratulations. You're still chair. <laughs> You're still paid. <laughs> Drug Task Force, additional 5,000 other equipment for wireless access point and service. Which pleasure? Motion. We have a motion in a couple of seconds. Roll call, please. Councilmember Witten? Yes. Councilmember Graham? Yes. Councilmember uh, Justin? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. And Councilmember Paparad? Yes. 5 0. Virtual Pathways Education Fund, 10,000 other equipment. Motion to approve. Second. Well, I think it's. We'll ask. Um, there's a motion and a second on the floor. Uh, roll call on this, please. Councilmember Graham? Yes. Councilmember Jessen? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. And Councilmember Witten? Yes. Five to zero. Porter County Highway Interdiction Team. 15,000 other equipment for radars and car camera equipment. So moved. Motion second. Second. in a couple of seconds. Roll call, please. Councilmember Jessen? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. And Councilmember Graham? Yes. Five to zero. Is that number seven, Bob? All right. Jail, uh, inmate processing fee fund, additional 2,000 printer and printing supplies for file on queue, our evidence, equipment purchase, and 18. Motion. Approved. A couple of motions. Is there a second? Second. And a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. Councilmember Graham? Yes. And Councilmember Jessen? Yes. Yes. Did you have questions about that? Well, the numbers don't line up with what I read. One says 149, the other one says 152. I think you got a raise in there. Two years. Raise. Two okay. different years. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, we gave him a raise that we gave. But the higher one's 2019. Which one we cited? You just wanted to say that number out loud? <laughs> well, we've approved both years. They're different. We've approved both years. One's 18, one's, one's, 19. one's 18 for house cleaning because I yeah, didn't it. We went back. They're not the same. The current's 19. And we give we give a raise. I understand that. This is 19. One's 19, one's 18. 18 is the lowest. Just like the command you showed. So both of them are. Uh, that's that's amazing. Both of them are. We did them both, Bob. We got it. No. I got your text, Dave, and I, right. I'm looking at you that. You talk to me about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we can work about it. Yeah, 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 we'll figure it out. Do we need to sign this and send it down? No, we just approved it. Yeah. The commissioner signed it. No, I just we, wanted we to mention for that program. Oh, yeah, the back. Both of them. Didn't get a whole lot of coverage from us, but you did a great job. I know Sylvia was there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Amy missed it. Is that what happened? I had something else. It was a great program. A lot of, a lot of great sure. speakers. Really awesome. Oh, yeah. Everything. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we've got uh, a couple of things going on here. We've got the 144 request, 44 to 20 to zero survey tech, and then zero to 44 for 20 survey manager. Discussion with HR would like to purpose, I'm sorry, propose the survey tech position be replaced with a survey manager who will have formal surveying education and at least 10 years of private sector professional land surveying experience. Motion. A motion on the second. floor and a second. Any discussion? Can I explain that a little bit, Kevin? Sure. Uh, just like the other department, we have real difficulty in placing techs. I was unable to fill this position prior to your budget last year, uh, or after your budget last year. My tech announced he'd probably be leaving. He actually didn't leave until late January this year. But the whole time I've been looking for somebody to replace them. I have not found anybody close to being qualified to fill that role. I've got to release them with their cars, trucks, safety and highway, uh, upwards of $30,000 worth of equipment. I need somebody reliable, trustworthy, and safety conscious to be working out there. So if I understand, you're basically taking uh, your survey tech, you're making them a survey manager, and Along with that, it need you you're requesting a higher salary. Correct. That's it. That's what's happening here. What would that salary be? Uh, somewhere between fifty-five and fifty-seven thousand. Thank you. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, with HR, you uh, came up with a new job description, Correct. aligning duties and broadening, obviously broadening the responsibilities. And yes, sir. Do we have that job description? If you don't, I'll give you a copy. Right. You said I have it. You sent it to me. I just didn't know if everybody. Um, Do you think that's an adequate salary? I'm able to get somebody for it. That's all I can tell you. I talked to uh, two or three people about it, and they were interested at that salary. That, that meet the qualifications? That meet the qualifications and probably exceed the requirements that I have. Um, so I assume the requests of the perpetuation fund are all related to the same request, correct? Correct. So we have a motion and a second to approve the 144. Can I get an amended motion to encompass the additional 144 out of the surveyor's perpetuation fund? Yes, for the second. Motion is yes. All right. Any other discussion? So we have a motion on the floor to approve the 144 from General Fund Surveyor and the additional from Perpetuation Fund of and the Form 144 uh, from the Surveyor's Perpetuation Fund. Bob, what's your question? What's the difference between the technician and the manager? The manager will be the supervisor over the technicians, the interns, any other employees that we have out in the field. Ideally, and in the past, we've run two or three crews. So this will give that individual responsibility that answers back to me about where these people are at and make sure we're making progress. Who does it now? I don't. Well, I do it now for the time being. How many employees do we have out there? Right now, including myself, my department has four full-time employees. I've got uh, uh, three part-timers. I will have a fourth, two of which are used uh, mostly in the field. So, if I understand it, as it stands right now, there's you, and then under you are the techs? Correct. And then you've got some part-time folks in the office. And this manager that you're, 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 you're not promoting a current tech to manager. Correct. You're out looking for somebody yeah, with some experience. I don't have anybody in the department that's, uh, besides myself, who's meets the requirements and qualification. So it's not a salary increase. Yeah. You're looking for a licensed surveyor? Uh, I can't afford a licensed surveyor. Okay. That would probably run anywhere from ten to $30,000 more a year. Gotcha. It would exceed my salary, and I am a licensed surveyor. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. Wouldn't that be ironic? It, uh, it always is. It happens with elected officials. Joy makes more than us. Okay, any other questions on these uh, requests? Hearing none, roll call on this, please. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. Councilmember Graham? Yes. Councilmember Jessen? Yes. And Councilmember Larson? Yes. Five to zero. Thank you, yeah, man. See you later. Have a good night. Go get him, man. Go get him. Thank you. And we will now. <coughs> ITS General Fund IT transfer 15542 from data processing to maintenance agreement. Cisco. Motion. Umbrella security. Antivirus and malware protection. We have a motion. Is there a second? second. And a second. Any discussion uh, with, res with re respect to this request? Is no, I think it's very well spent if we're trying to uh, keep the Russians antivirus out. and malware. Keep the Ukrainians out, the Russians. Keep the, the Russians out. I'm counting on them for the next election. Well, okay. <laughs> I'll, make, I'll make the motion. You got a motion? We have a motion in a second. Uh, we just way the eye. Yeah, in it too, so watch it. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Approved. Heard they got in the scoreboard thing already. Let's have a second reading, man. Honor. 
Whereas it has been determined that it is now necessary to appropriate more money than was appropriated in the annual budget, therefore, be it ordained by the Porter County Council of Porter County, Indiana, that for the expenses of the taxing unit, the following additional sums of money are hereby appropriated out of the funds named and for the purposes specified subject to laws governing the same. General fund, $1,000. MVH fund, $1176, $20,000. Surveyor's Perpetuation yeah. Fund, $9,508. Drug Task Force Fund, $4010, $5,000. Inmate Processing Where? Fee Fund, $4911, $2,000. Virtual Pathways Fund, $4924, $10,000. And Sheriff Highway Interdiction Fund, $4925. Uh, $15,000, and that concludes second reading. What's your pleasure on second reading? I'll make a motion. Second. All kinds of motions and seconds. Uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Witten? Yes. Councilmember Graham? Yes. Councilmember Jessen? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. And Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Five to zero. A couple of, thank you very much. Uh, Harold, uh, our attorney, has got a text. He's hung up in a deposition. I didn't think it'd be an issue. There's not a whole lot going on tonight. But one thing that I wanted to bring up uh, before we get to the Porter Hospital, a couple of things. One is I'm told that our library board appointment is uh, expiring at the end of June. So uh, I would ask that we address the appointments of the library board at our next meeting. Um, there it is. So we can take applications. Our current appointment tells me that she'd like to stay on there. So, but we can certainly take. We've had conversations. Okay. We've had some conversations. She wins every single one of them. My <laughs> wife, for those of you who don't know. Uh, but uh, do we do we need to wait for applications? Yeah, we probably should. Let's take applications for the next. Just and see who's out there. If she doesn't get reappointed, that's real bad for me, but hey, you guys don't have to go home. Mm. Uh, that was the thing we could make this a little easier. <laughs> yeah. uh, last time we didn't get a whole lot of applications, and the time before that we had to go out and find people to apply. I'm going to turn my wife I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I really love your wife, too. Uh, I had to choose, man. <laughs> Um, so if we would put that on the agenda for the next meeting for library board appointment, that would be greatly appreciated. The other thing is I had a late request, and I don't know that we want to tackle it tonight, but I asked Joy to print it out and give it to you anyway. The uh, commissioners had asked us uh, for a 144 reduction, um, and uh, so there it is in front of you. Was there a time thing on this? Currently, I'm Come on up. Yeah, we'll take a look here. So tell us what's going on here. I had a custodian recently resigned from the position, took a position in uh, the prosecutor's office, and uh, I think 19.32 an hour is pretty high for a custodian position when I can get them for $15 an hour. So we would. So you're asking for us to do a 144 reduction to the current position? Yes. Is that all this is? Yes. Uh, Vicki, this, this isn't on the agenda. It hasn't been yeah. average. Can we do a 144 reduction yeah. without? Um, yes, yeah, 144. Mm -hmm. If, yeah. We're not adding a position, just reducing it. So what's your pleasure on this? Hmm. So we want to take it down from 1932 to? $15 an hour. Why do we have to do anything? Just let them pay $15 an hour. No, 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 I don't think it's, it's not an up to deal. I don't think is it. It's a we set a salary here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a salary. Yeah, we set a salary. I think I think you've got a salary. If you look at it, it's thirty five thousand one seventy seven, twenty seven thousand. Two twenty seven thirty. Three is what you're expecting. Yes. Yeah. I'll make the motion. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve the uh, proposed one forty four with the reduction. You're confident we can get. Qualified people, so yeah. definitely. Okay, and, and I appreciate Ray, you taking a look at it, at the uh, edit in that light to reduce it to an appropriate rate. I, yeah. I think that's terrific. <laughs> and we need more of that. Frankly. All right, thank you for putting it on the board today. No problem. So, I'll, uh, well, let's get a roll call on this. Okay. One point. I like that. Uh, Councilmember Graham. Yes. Councilmember Jessen. Yes. 
Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. And Councilmember Wetton? Yes. Okay. 5 0. Uh, other things that may come properly before the council, um, well, let's, I'll, I'll hold my comment for a little bit. Support so Hospital, LLC. So what you guys have in front of you, obviously, is the form uh, CF1. This is related to the tax abatements or compliance uh, statements. What questions do you guys have with respect to this? Did they meet the requirements? Seems like. Right. We're about how much? How many more years do we have left on this statement? We're about getting close to the end of the rainbow yes, here. Three or four. Correct. I'm sorry, I meant to get that paper. In Which section is? five and seven, there's technically a few stipulations here. Uh, most of those have already passed. So the one that I believe is always presented here is that we've maintained the number of employees, and, and that is correct. We have maintained and exceeded by about 168 employees. So what, are we, so what on this year's abatement, where are we at on the abatement? Because it's sliding scale down. So right. do you know where we're at on this year? We can call that up real quick. If somebody knows. Yeah. While she's doing that, does anybody else have any other questions? Not really. I'm just pleased to see that it came in on time. That is called up. That is awesome. And then you guys are here as a representative. Yeah. 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 Well, I live two blocks away, so yeah. 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 no excuse. Yeah. 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 Tell me about it. <laughs> 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 if you we're can't. Seven. Dan, I think we're near seven. Yeah, I, I wanted to see where we're at on the percentage. It would be 70%. 10% a year, I thought. Maybe yeah, but I, no, it's not 70. Well, it's pretty close. Yeah, right? it's pretty close. Okay. If you're not on. That's fine, Vicki. I was just curious. You can get that to us next time. So, can I get a motion to approve and accept the form CF1 as submitted by the Porter Hospital? I'll make the motion. Second. And a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Let's get a roll call on this as well. Okay. Uh, Councilmember Jessen? Yes. Councilmember Larson? Yes. Councilmember Paparad? Yes. Councilmember Witten? Yes. And Councilmember Graham? Yes. Five to zero. Do you have any gentlemen have any questions for us? No, sir. Thank you. All right. See that schedule. Just kind of what you say. You still trying to bring that up, Nikki? Or? Well, while she's doing that, the only other thing I wanted to say uh, was, as you guys may recall, I reached out to all of you some years ago. We've taken our council meeting on the road, and uh, I anticipate we, us doing that again this summer. I like to think we're going out to see our constituency. The thought was that we would hit all four districts of the uh, of the county over the next four months. And uh, of course, we'll advertise that out. Everybody will uh, have proper notice. And, I think it's um, a good idea. And the, the joy, where have we got nailed down so far? Portage uh, for the next month. The portage at the lakefront? Uh, or we've got to get in here before that falls into the lake? Riverwalk. Yeah. And, but we, me and you, I know we did you expand the discussion about whoever the district it is does run the meeting? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. we'll pick that up. And then, uh, what, what else do you have now? The down? airport, um, that's locked down too. They're going to be in a hangar and they'll be by a big jet too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got that. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go to the airport for one of our meetings. Uh, I was thinking the Opera House, but then uh, who doesn't like airplanes? Really? Right. Let's not kid ourselves. And if you want to come to the Opera House, I'm in so many shows. I'm sure you guys can come. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I've been on the stage a couple of times there. <laughs> the, hospital, the hospital's a big sponsor of that. <laughs> yeah, we can put you next to a piece of equipment that costs as much as a plane. That's true. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and then do we have um, Dooland yet? No, not yet. Okay, and then do we have South County yet? Not yet. Those are the two I don't have yet. Sure, we take care of that. Yeah, we got to get South County. Um, is that a modern? No, no, no. It's community building. It's not insulting, Donald. So, how are we doing with that, Vicki? Any, 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 
a heated pole barn. So we're either going to be in the house or Hebron, depending on the availability. And then with Dunlin, I leave that to the we're trying for Chesterton, Border, where, where, where are you? Probably sure we can get Burns Harbor. Yeah. Or Burns Harbor. Bob, no, no, no people. If you're the you're the district councilman. You choose. Do you want me to find out? You pick one of them and let us know. What I have Chesterton probably be the best centrally located. Call Chesterton again if they're not interested in hosting it. What about the show? Is that the murder? Yeah, the service center would be a good spot for it. So the idea is that the library is a tourism. We could have a tourism. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Big parking lot. Yeah, so, yeah, so the idea is we're going to get out into the community over the next uh, four months, give people in some of the local communities an opportunity to come down, see our meeting, <coughs> if they so, if they have absolutely no lives and nothing to do. Uh, no, no <laughs> Yeah, no that's going to be here. But uh, just for something different, and I think that we had really, really, really good response last time we did this. So I think it would be a nice how's opportunity. How's the report hospital going? What do you got for us, Vicki? Okay. They are in their seventh year for pay 19. That means it's a 30% abatement okay. down from 100%. And the total deduction this year is just over $32 million. Okay. Leaving $79 million in taxable property and this is just real real property they also have a personal property abatement as well and this reporter doesn't have at this point any uh, appeals are you you're not in front of the uh, appeal board no. with anything right you guys are no. I'm just curious no. as part of their agreement for real property they gave up the right to appeal so we know their assessed value in every year of their abatement for the next three years all right. And after that, who knows? Awesome. Awesome. Anybody else have anything for tonight? Hearing none, can I get a motion to adjourn? You got it. All in favor? Bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.